Hi again. Welcome to the video series of securemywifi.org. My name is Zeel and in today's lecture we'll be looking into basics about media access control or MAC and the MAC filtering. So let's understand the basic about MAC. So in a very simple terms if I say every device which may be a mobile, tablet, laptops, computers has a particular unique hardware address associated with it. Now let's take an example for this. It is just similar to a phone number. Every person who is communicating via phone with a SIM card has a unique phone number assigned to it. Now two people cannot have the same phone number. Similarly, two devices like mobile, laptop, computers, etc. cannot have a same hardware address. Hardware address is unique across each device. So let's understand MAC or the hardware address in a bit detail. So MAC addresses are generally a 12 digit hexadecimal number. So means you have a 12 digit of hexadecimal code which defines your hardware address. So basically it is partitioned into two parts. The very first part where we can see the MM, MM, MM depicts the ID number of the manufacturer. Now this thing is different for each manufacturer. So let's take an example. So here we can see 00, A0 and C9. If this is the code assigned to the Intel corporation, then this code cannot be assigned to any other manufacturer. This is unique code for each manufacturer. The later three, which is represented by SS dash SS dash SS is a unique serial number of an adapter which is given by a manufacturer. So from this we can see 00, A0 and C9 is the unique code assigned to an Intel corporation and followed by 14, C8 and 29 is the serial number of a adapter card or the hardware address of NIC card associated. Now let's find out on how we can look into the hardware address associated with our laptops through windows. So I'll go to run, type CMD, I'll maximize this window for further viewing, type ipconfig slash all. Well, uh, the window is a bit populated because I have a various uh, virtual network adapters. Yes, so here we can see Ethernet adapter Ethernet and there is a physical address followed by a physical address over here. So here is a physical address which is a 12 bit hexadecimal number. Now this address is unique across all the devices. So the very first three columns which is mm mm and mm here is denoted by 10 bf and 48 now this is a manufacturer id maybe of a real tech manufacturer which is unique and the later three part is a serial number associated with my device now you might be wondering why we are learning mac address well let's take an example so I'll take a three bit hexadecimal code, right? We won't be going into bit long hexadecimal number, BBB and CCC. Now, what if I can tell my router to only allow devices which has this, this and this MAC address? Well, this seems nice now because if you put your MAC address in your wireless router settings to allowed list. So basically what happens is if this is your router 
and inside your router it has a settings of mac address filtering and in mac address filtering you put these three mac address and tell to your router to only allow devices which has the mac address which matches all these three numbers or any one of these three numbers well this is a good security why because if this is a intuder laptop and it tries to connect to your wireless device right so this is a connection point to your wireless device your wireless router will look into this table and check if the hardware address of this laptop matches any one of the hardware address which is assigned in this table if it is not then it won't allow the connection to take place even if the password is right but make sure that your hardware address which you put in the table is right because we have uh, seen many instances where people put on the wrong hardware address in the routing table of mac in your router and then they see that their laptops or computers are being blocked anyways so with this we'll go into our router we'll connect to our wireless router and see how we can go about doing mac filtering so i'll connect to my cisco w wireless router also it is important to know because we have seen many clans what they basically do is they input the address of the ethernet card ethernet card is not a wireless adapter it is important to remember that please differentiate between these two wireless adapter and ethernet card have two different mac addresses so if you assigned a mac address of your ethernet card then your wireless adapter when you try to access your router via wifi then you won't be able to ac access it right so you have to put in two hardware addresses one for your ethernet card and one for your wireless adapters so i hope this is connected great so i'll go to my wireless router setting page <laughs> do you know what happened or the reason why it's not loading well i guess it it's loading i think it's my fault anyways i'll type in the password so again here we can see this is the basic setup page for my cisco wireless router under this let's go to the wireless tab last time we had already seen about ssid broadcasting right so under wireless tab let's go to wireless mac filter right so here we can see that my current wireless router has a mac address table of up to 32 mac addresses and the first option says prevent pcs listed below from accessing the wireless network so you have two options basically either permit or prevent so in permit option it will only permit the computers which has the below addresses so here i have two addresses as a input the first address is basically the address of my ethernet card so basically when i try connecting via my lan cable to router this is the address which is been used and the second address here is of my wireless lan adapter so if i want to connect to my router via wifi then this is the address which is been used so i tell my router whenever any computer or a mobile or any device tries to connect 
check the hardware address associated with that device and if it matches either one of these two then allow if it does not match then simply block them right even if the password is right block them so this is the basic settings of your wireless mac filters so let's get back to our notes section so <coughs> we have seen the basic settings of mac address filtering on my cisco router i also have a second router which is the belkin router and have denoted that the process of mac address filtering is similar across all the routers so you might be wondering that this is a very good technique for protecting your wireless device well second thought no it is not why because it is easily possible to change your hardware address via external tools well in your linux machines generally it's one command to change your hardware address for the time being so let's take a example if a hacker knows that this is the mac address which has been allowed in your wireless router so what hacker will simply do is he will change his mac address to the one which is allowed in the permitted list well it is very easily possible to sniff the traffic and sniff the mac address which is been allowed so again this is not a full proof security of your wireless security or sorry wireless router and i have these notes which i have uh, written and i'll be posting this on our website which is securemywifi.org so with this we'll end this lecture i hope this has been beneficial for you and i would like to thank you for viewing